Hey there, Wild Things. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Becky, and guess what? We've accomplished our 2020 book goal! So at the beginning of the year, back in January, I set myself a book goal, um, self-explanatory, a number of books that I wanted to read within the year of 2020. I set that number at 45. As of right now, as of this very moment, this very filming, I have read 49 books this year. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself, really, because a 40, 45 um, count book goal is about you know just a couple books a month which for me is really doable but obviously quarantine has helped a lot so I have finished my book goal months ahead of schedule so now what am I gonna do well I made a list <laughs> of something um, I am trying to do next like I have no idea like how many books am I gonna read in 2020 total I don't know so check back in December because I will definitely update you guys with how many books I will have read. So what's next? You probably asked. Well, naturally I'm gonna keep reading. Um, and I guess the new goal is to see how many books total I could read in 2020. And then that will help me set my book goal for 2021. I definitely recommend setting a book goal. It is a little bit motivating and everybody should be reading more. There are so many amazing books that are coming out. <laughs> Okay, let's start with some books that I just, or let's start with the book that I have just finished, and then um, what's next on my read list. So last night, literally last night, I just finished A House of Salt and Sorrows, and you might have seen it in my May book haul, but it's just taken me a little bit to get around to it. Um, I started reading it, got maybe three-fourths of the way through, and then put it down for some reason, and I don't like to read multiple books at once. I like to read a book and finish it. So since I hadn't finished the book, I couldn't move on to anything new. Finished it last night, and let me tell you, the last quarter of this book is a wild-ass ride, okay? Like, wow. I was like, why have I been procrastinating reading this book? I don't know what made me put it down and not pick it back up, because the ending was just what what happened there so yeah i definitely recommend this book it is an eerie kind of macabre retelling of the 12 dancing princesses except it involves murder Ooh. the book i'm trying to finish next is this girls of paper and fire um i think i've also already recommended this book i did really like it i found the imagery was just beautiful it's very well written and it was recommended by james patterson himself um and it has a lot of like Asian influences and Asian cultures and the writer is obviously Asian so it's from a first person kind of perspective and cultural experience so I find the book very beautiful. I just haven't finished it yet. This is another one that I started a while ago and then put down and then couldn't find. I put it somewhere in my apartment didn't know where it is. Stumbled across it and was like yes finally so this will be the next to read. And then following that book I'm gonna go kind of off this fantasy female trope that I'm kind of on, and I mean strict fantasy, like elves and magic and that kind of stuff were kind of involved in the last two books that I read. This book is about vampires, I'm gonna suppose. And yes, I have definitely recommended this one in a book haul. So if you wanna know more about that, go watch the May book haul and figure out what this book's about. So those will be my next two books and that'll bring me up to 50 and 51. Now, I am on TikTok. And I'm on TikTok probably more than I should be on TikTok. And I mean, I find TikTok funny and entertaining, but what I really love about it is the book talk section, which is like the subsection of TikTok for people that read a lot of books. So my TBR list has gone from, you know, five, eight books to, so I'll just show you. Uh, you, might, you guys might be able to see, this is the screen record from my phone. And this particular this entire list is actually just book the books that I have pulled off of TikTok recommendations a lot of TikTok videos that will show you books in different genres to check out and things that are popular and whatnot so from that list I have already bought four that are very very highly talked about and recommended Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas is amazing got this one at Barnes and Noble buy one get one yeah a 
whole series, so there will be plenty more books to read. And I've heard this um, book series is devastating. Like, it re it's really going to hit you in the heart in a good way and going to be one of those ones that you always talk about and always remember. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. Another book by Sarah J. Maas that's supposed to be spicy. Spicy! Is this trilogy, or I guess it's a not a trilogy anymore because I think there's a fourth book that was just put out but it is um another book by Sarah J Maas A Court of Thorns and Roses oh yeah so there are four books now the newest one just came out and this one is somewhere in my wheelhouse it is about fae and fairy folk which I really like and magic and just adult fantasy um and again this one is supposed to be spicy and I guess there's something about Sarah J Maas that her books end up being devastating and like soul clenching. So I'm very excited to read this. It's all over the internet and I've seen it in bookstores for years and years and years, but just never thought it was going to be something that I'd like. I'm prepared to be proven wrong. And then this is a book that I read a long time ago, but I don't really remember much of it. And it was, I remember it being really divisive when I read it back in high school or my freshman year of university and some people loved it some people hated it and i don't think i ever finished the book so this is the red queen by oh victoria avia and it is like magic based and like um like fantasy world i'd again put this in fantasy maybe young adult fantasy um i'm not going to tell you guys much about it because i think if you want to read this one you've probably already heard of it and you either love it or you hate it so go check this book out the last book is actually a series that i've been wanting to get into for a little bit there are a couple books and every time i pass them i'm like these look like things that i I'm interested in reading. I definitely choose books based on their cover and these covers have always jumped out at me. The first in the Lunar Chronicles series and yeah they're based along you know the princesses it's Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, Winter but they're all like have that Disney princess like feel but it's like a retelling of the story something a little more edgy and um, a little bit more sci-fi um like humans and androids mixed together type thing and so this is a little bit out of my wheelhouse but i'm really excited to read them and get started through the whole series so these and those other books are what i will be reading next let me recommend you guys some books that i've read in the last six to eight months that i absolutely love and i feel like everyone should read they're literally just amazing the first one i'm gonna recommend literally changed my life impacted the way I think about certain things. The first book drew me in, the second book made me cry. The third book, truth be told, I haven't read because I'm not ready for it to be over. I'm not ready for it to be over. I'm only gonna show you the first book because I feel like the covers give away hints in the plots to the next books. So this is book one, this is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And goes down in history as one of my favorite books. It has it clawed its way into my heart and to the top of my fave book list. Definitely top five. I loved this book. It is about the future. It's about a world with no more hunger, disease, war, famine, nothing. Um, humanity has concert, conquered all those things, including death. Um, so people no longer die natural deaths, however, people are still naturally born. So what they do to control population is they have these things called scythes and it's the job of the scythe and they're a small group of people that are hand-picked and chosen based on a variety of attributes compassion or empathy or whatever but their job is to reap members from society so because you can live forever and ever and you can also regenerate so you can go back to a younger age they choose people at random to die to be reaped um, in whatever manner they deem appropriate um, to keep population size under control. This book is about two um, kids, teenagers, a boy and a girl who are chosen to apprentice under a scythe, which is a role that neither of them want because once you become a scythe, you're kind of ostracized, society doesn't really like you anymore. Um, and the teens must learn to master the art of taking a life knowing that the consequence of failure could mean losing their own lives. Um, they learn that living in the world that they thought that was perfect comes with a really heavy price. The book is amazing. 
it deals with you know things that we're dealing with everyday life things that teenagers would be dealing with that confusion about getting older um depression it deals with death in a really interesting way population control morality ethics i thought this book was brilliant and then again there are two more that go with this story neil schusterman has a gift he has a gift he is an amazing amazing writer and i definitely recommend this book the next book series I have for you, I don't physically have the first book in hand because I lent it to my mother who is currently reading it and really, really enjoying it. Um, and so she has the first book and I have the second one on order because I actually read that one digitally and then bought the third one in paperback as well. I don't know what was wrong with me when I was reading them, but this is book three of the, what is it called? Oh, Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. If you've read or seen any of my book recommendations, you know that Holly Black is an author that I really, really, really enjoy. This is Queen of Nothing, which is the third book in the series, which was brilliant. The first two books are The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King. My mom's currently reading The Cruel Prince and is having a great time. I recommend these books. They are recently blowing up all over TikTok, but I read them to the end of last year in like October, November, and this book didn't come out till November, so I read and bought The Cruel Prince in a bookshop. Thought it was brilliant, really loved it. Loved Jude as the main character, loved the premise. The second book I actually found online as a PDF, read it the same night. I finished The Cruel Prince that same night, got online, downloaded the PDF version of this book, read it, finished. Found out that this book didn't come out until like November, December last year. Had to wait, was devastating. Bought this book, read it in like, the night. It, the series was just great. I really liked it. This is about um, two human girls and their half fey sister and their life in a fairy kingdom and things are not as they appear and there is fights and death and war and love but it is just a great book series. I definitely recommend the book. I think Anybody who loves young, young adult or fantasy would really enjoy this book series and Holly Black is just great. She's great. Cerulean and its sequel, The Alcazar. Um, I just spent way too long reading this book because it was beautiful and because I didn't want it to end. And at the time, I didn't know that there was going to be a follow-up. Like there's, there, when you get to the end of the book, there's an indication that the story's not over. Like it's clearly not over at the end. But when you buy the book, because it came out only in 2019, you didn't realize that there was gonna need to be a sequel, you know? And then the sequel arrived late 2019, early 2020, I think. And it was just, I have, very little words. I really do think this book is beautiful. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about it. It really touched me. It took me some days to get through it, not because it's not well paced or interesting, just because it's beautiful and you don't want it to end. And then the last book I want to recommend is actually a book that I just bought and mailed to someone else to recommend it. When I bought it in the bookshop, the teller was like, I love this book and we spent five minutes talking about it because I'm like, yes, I, I also love this book. I'm buying it to give away. Um, I'm going to be buying another physical copy for myself because the first time I ever read this book was on Audible. It was an audiobook, And that is the book Circe by Madeline Miller. I actually recommend to people the audiobook because it is beautifully read. It is beautifully read. She has such a gift with imagery and detail and description. She's amazing. And then following Circe's Song of Achilles was also devastating, soul crushing, crying, but beautifully written. She has such a supreme gift. Circe is the retelling of, I guess she's not really a goddess. She's a nymph, I guess but her family lineage end up being the ones to discover certain types of magic. So she's technically the first witch of the world. Um, and it goes through tellings of other stories and tellings of other type of Greek mythology. And it's beautiful. The audiobook is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. Yeah, that's hands down. Like it is 
amazing. Like, just beautifully woven and beautifully read and I finally ordered the paperback copy because I realized that I want to have it. Like, this book is so beautiful to listen to over and over in my car, but I also want, want it. I want it. So, I bought that book, so, <laughs> which seems a little crazy because now I have duplicates of books that I have on my Audible or on my Kindle that I wanted to have in real life. Scythe is one of those books that I read first on Kindle and then realized I needed to have, like I had to have it. Um, so those are my top book recommendations for the last six to eight months. These are books that I really, really, really enjoy. I hope you guys go check them out. If you do, if you do, please let me know. I love it when people read books I recommended and they end up enjoying them. Or if you have a book that falls into one of these genres or something that you adore that you think that I might like, please let me know. Comment on my Instagram or my Twitter or even my TikTok or anything like that down below. I'd love to add them to my TBR list. Um, one thing I started doing this week to kind of push me into more reading is that I am now participating in Reading Rush Week, courtesy of my friend Bria. Thank you so much for recommending that to me. If you haven't heard of Reading Rush Week, I have a link down in my description box down below where you can find out all the information, but basically it is a yearly challenge that is put on um, by some amazing people, an amazing group of people, and the challenge is to read as many books as possible in the one week. They have different challenges to help you kind of achieve whatever goal that you've set out. Mine is four to eight books this week, which may be a little ambitious, but you guys know that I am not lacking in reading materials. But some of the challenges you do, and when you finish the challenge, you earn badges. The badges are stored on your profile and it is all free. Make sure you guys go and sign up to participate. Um, even retroactively if you want. This video is going to be coming out a little bit late, so midweek, but you guys have the opportunity to continue reading and to join in a little bit late if you want. Some of these challenges will help you read books outside your comfort zone or outside your chosen genre. Some of them are just to kind of expand your horizons into different authors and different texts, which I think is really interesting and probably good for me because I like my reading bubble, my reading box. Um, so please join me on reading rush if you sign up my handle is becky ray 14 because we love consistency so i should be easy to find let me know if you're joining too and how many books you're trying to read don't forget to check back into this video this channel this whatever in december to see what my total book goal ended up being and to see if these top recommendations that i just gave you end up being the same or changing all right guys i think that's all for today's video i'm actually headed out to the bookstore because i have a problem i will see you guys in the next.